Hello and welcome everyone. How's it going? We have managed to get through another year. And with that I want to take a look through the channel again. This year I'm not gonna count out how many videos I've done and how much stuff I've done in general because last year we went through that and it's an insane number and this year it just got more and yeah that's just how it goes it will it will just potentially go up for me because I love doing what I'm doing and therefore it doesn't matter we just had a lot of fun this year and I want to take a look through first of all my main videos and then we're gonna have a look through the shorts and the live feed as well because there was a lot of stuff that I did this year some things that I wanted to do that did not end up completely becoming how I wanted them one of those is doing a live stream every mon month but we we'll talk about that and the other thing is doing um, more videos which I definitely did like not like main videos but just with the shorts and everything I started doing a whole bunch of stuff with that as well but let's just scroll through it I went to uh, the first video should be watch me fight which was pitch in the sand and I'm not alone down here quiet basement those were the first two videos of this year so we started it off with pigeons that fight you and with a basement that is haunted. Seems like a fitting start to the year if you ask me. But yeah, we also had still going on Yoshi's story with my brother. Ah, uh, the cursed nightmares that this has. And obviously throughout the whole year we had Splatoon 3 going on. Which is still going strong. I just love the game too much to stop it. Let's be totally honest. And we also still went through Final Fantasy. Dang, that was a good game. We got a check at one point, the remake. But everything in due time. We just finished that game. Even though it doesn't look like it. We just finished that game. So we're not gonna jump into that just yet. And we also played Pokemon Snap and Bayonetta. Ah. Oh, and Castlevania Lord of Shadows. There was some good stuff going on. Like right off the get go in this year. And I loved it. Like this year, last year, ended strong and started strong. <laughs> Goodbye. We got a new chair for the channel, which was necessary because the old one was an old companion. So that actually happened this year as well. But yeah, there was a lot going on this year and I just love it. We ended the last one strong and we got rolled into this one just as powerful. And I, I feel like we just improved on everything that I wanted to set forth and improve on. Um, we also have still had off the series going on with uh, my brother at that point, which... Ah, oh, bomber my quest. Ah... Oh. So many good things going on there of the games that I played together with my brother throughout the year. And it's kind of a shame that because of time and everything we didn't get to sit down together as much anymore and record so much in advance so that we have constant flow of videos. We have something going on right now again with Wind Waker which is something that I really love. I'm really happy that we have something again. But after Wind Waker it's gonna be a drought again because yes we're recording something right now technically but we can't find the time to really sit down and do as much as we would love to so uh, once uh, Wind Waker is over we, you're gonna have to wait for another series of the two of us we had Area of Spirits which was just a delightful short little game and I absolutely loved it Oh. oh yeah, Pokemon Colosseum, that was a trip down memory lane there for sure. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of fun stuff going on really early on in the year here. <laughs> Devil, oh, Devil May Cry 3 was that year. Oh, 
It, everything feels so long ago. We're still at the point where I was playing only Splatoon, fascinatingly enough. I honestly thought that I jumped into Monster Hunter a lot sooner than apparently I did, which fun and fascinating to me, the Horrorboros. Oh, that was a good one coming out there. But really weird as well, Astral Chain, don't forget Astral Chain, kind of a mixed feeling still about that game, but overall really enjoyed it. We also have Monster Rancher, ah, we should jump back into that eventually, but not for right now, still need a little bit of time to um, decompress from everything that was going on there at the end. Oh my gosh, that is a horrible thumbnail, I enjoy that a lot, Ugh. nightmare fuel, good job, there is monster hand hunter, there we go, with monster Ranger, we also started to hunt them down again, that seems irresponsible if you ask me, seriously Final Fantasy 7 is such a strong game, like still looking back at it, Dang, it's a good game. And in all honesty, I can't wait to jump into uh, the remaster of it because I can only imagine how good that is. I'm also deliberately delaying it a little bit because I wanna have as much as possible once I jump into it to play. If not the full game already, that would be fun. To actually have the full game and play through that. That was a really good horror game. I remember that one. I really enjoyed it. Now oh, the slingshot. That was dangerous. And that thing. Oh, I hated that thing. It's fascinating to see how long Have a Nice Death actually was on the channel. That was six months ago. Half a year ago that it still was on the channel. Like that is... Not that long ago and then we had Tanuki Sunset which feels like it was just like a week or so ago that we still played that. Like Tanuki Sunset was such a good, good game. And also the testing chamber. Which to this day the test series haunts me. Because those videos are long. Oh boy. Interesting projects, interesting ideas, just a little bit drawn out there at the end, but really interesting, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, Aqua Ipan, I definitely need to check that game out again. That was such an homage to the old Metal Slug games and I love those games. Like the, those games are fun and that one was perfect in every way. I fully forgot to mention that we had Bayonetta Origins going on. That that just kinda glossed past me that we had that going on here a while ago as well. Such a great game as well. Like, I hope they do more with that idea in the long run. Also, Outlast Trials. That's five months ago? Breath of the Wild. Dang. We've been on that game for a good long while now. Force Reboot. That's what we played after. Tanuki Sunset. I nearly forgot about that one. Bioshock. Ah, oh, such a great story. Four months ago. That's longer ago than honestly I thought. There we have it as well. The beast that keeps on giving right now. Pokemon White. This is where it all started. And now look at where we are right now. Such a big thing. We also had a trip to France during that time when we started off with Pokemon. Wow. Really looking back at that trip fondly. Especially since we had our dog with us as well during all of that. So that was really nice. And then we had uh, the trip that went a little bit wrong because it was planned to be different. But still brought some nice memories with it. And then there it is, the next thing that took up a lot of time on the channel as well. Forager. And of course Mega Man Battle Network that I kinda just skipped over there. Ah, uh, my little revisit to Crypt of the Necrodancer. Ah, uh, 
I need to play that game again because it's so dang good. Like seriously, if you have never played Crypt of the Necrodancer, I just recommend you check it out. If you like rhythm games and dungeon crawlers, that's probably right up your alley because Crypt of the Necrodancer is just so good. Boulder Skate started here. Ah, the beginning of Boulder Skate. Creating a barbarian that started off as a character that just throws stuff at everyone. And now some are turned into a character that just caves your face in with multiple attacks. Which seems just fitting for a barbarian. It's so much fun to play. It's a simple class to play, not gonna lie. But, you know, I love the role-playing aspect of just screaming at stuff. Oh, there's the two Hachi battle that did not go as planned, but still was more fun than expected. The net battle that had versus my brother is an insane one and a fun one to watch. Also, the bane of my existence one month ago, but well, that ended fast. Castlevania, Lords of Shadow, Mirror of Fate. That is... Uh, I'm still not okay with that game. Like, I'm still not happy with how that game is. That's still a game that gives me a headache thinking about it. Like, I don't know what went wrong in the development there, or where things went wrong. But, oh no. It's still so frustrating for me just thinking about it. And here I found out what kind of YouTube channel I should make. Did I manage to do it since then? No. I don't even remember what it told me that I should do. Let's just take a quick look in there. DIY channel is what it told me that I should do. Well, uh, that month that I was... I thought going into it I was prepared for it because before we even got into the first week I had like the first round of videos prepped and ready. And then things just kind of fell apart. This is where stuff just went a little bit wrong for me. Because I wanted to do so much more for the calendar. I didn't have time to do nearly as much as I wanted to do. Then I even got sick. I got COVID. There's that creepy face that definitely was a force to be reckoned with. And I had to make so many compromises throughout this. Which... I'm feel like I'm not happy with, but ultimately, what can I do, really? I tried my best, and <laughs> I still made, I think, some fun videos overall during that holiday season again. Like, that month is always a stressful one to get done and to deliver some sort of interesting stuff there as well. Anyway, let's jump into the shorts. And there we are at the beginning of 2023. It's so good that I have a certain kind of video to tell me where stuff is because here I don't have the months. I have no idea how long something was ago. And I just now realize that I started off this year with the Snickle. What a mood to start this year with. What a mood to start this year with. I at this point had just my food cram videos, some random shorts for uh, Friday, I think at this point it was, and then the stream highlights and uh, my weekly highlights. That's what I had going on in this uh, at this time, and there was some fun stuff there. Like to I look good was probably one of the more fun ones that I actually got out there. But let's not understate all of the let's tries and the uh, food crimes that I did throughout this year. It turned into more let's try videos ultimately because it was difficult to find some food crimes that are easy enough to do, to not be wasteful and also make stuff with ingredients that I have at hand or can easily get to and that don't involve me making a full-on meal so it got a little bit difficult and also next to that I didn't have that much time to look good stuff up for that so that's why for the moment it's mostly let's tries that come out I will sit down in January and try and figure out some good food crimes again 
and deliver on that front as well again. But yeah, that's why there were less food crimes at the second half of the year. But yeah, the beginning of the year was pretty straightforward. Just eat something, do something random, and highlights. Like that's how is how we started it off. And is that actually the first one that I just saw there? I think it was. No, there it is. Making money grow. Is that the first one that I actually did? Yeah, seems like it. Making money grow. The first mini game. The minigame series was born there, and I love the minigame series. It's a fun little side project, sitting down playing some games that I find on the internet as well, that I feel like are fun to play and enjoyable and quick to play, but don't have enough substance to be like, yeah, you can make a full video out of that, but they're perfect for a short. And that's where the minigame series came from and dang it's a lot of fun and little spoiler I might do more of it the start of the uh, vlogs here as well was a nice idea for me to start uh, documenting a little bit on what has been going on throughout the day and also keeping up with everyone else because I just love uh, the vlogging aspect and just keeping you in the loop of what's going on <laughs> and yeah so that's when all of that started when we had all of a sudden daily vlogs as well so that means four shorts there were not only four videos which at one point I don't know when exactly it started but it sh probably was someone somewhere around uh, the daily vlogs that I decided, okay, uh, uh, Friday uh, shorts are gonna be cut, but instead of that now I have like daily vlogs. And that's when I had only three, uh, no, four uh, shorts that were like something different or like one food related and two gaming related, three gaming related ones and the rest of it seven extra shorts that were like vlog style videos and that were a daily extra. This is still an interesting one because YouTube if you upload something on desktop does not let you choose a thumbnail for your shorts which is a weird and dumb decision but whatever. This video never got a thumbnail and I cannot change that. The only way for me to change that is uploading it from my phone and there I can pick a thumbnail. I mean, maybe I should do that, but it feels like so much more of a hustle and so much more of a time sink than I have actually time to do is to just let YouTube decide what it does. And it's so weird that this video never got a thumbnail. I don't know why. So you have to check out and find out what the crud this minigame is. Because there's no hint for you there. Ah, there's also the moment when we, I started uh, making shorts for every video as well. So that was a big addition to everything. And honestly, it's something that just helped out the channel and is a lot of fun for me as well because I love sitting down and collecting the little extra bits out of videos, either cutting together some nice shorts or just finding one of the moments that was just like, yep, that's insane, or that's fun, or that's like, why? So that was a lot of fun actually going into that as well. And then lastly we have the day videos, which honestly, they are also always fun and crazy. But, same thing here as with the calendar, I had so much more planned for those than I ultimately ended up doing. And you would think that they are easy enough to do. Which they are, I'm not gonna say like, oh no, they take a lot of time. Some of them are really improvised on the spot and you can tell. But still, I didn't have time to make the most of it and make things that I wanted to do because there was just a lot. 
that got in the way of me actually putting everything into those videos and yeah therefore things didn't work out 100% as I wanted. I still had a lot of fun with everything that I've done because I enjoy making stuff. Lastly we go into live. So with the live streams honestly there's not as much to look at. It's actually just this border here. Which we started off this year with flipping Choo Choo Charles which was fun. Choo Choo Charles was a lot of fun and I can't begin to tell you how flipping enjoyable that was for me. Sitting down and having so many people join in the madness. I mean, none of the other streams ever even scratched that surface, which is fine by me. I'm still a small YouTuber, getting that many views on the stream in general was insane. But that was an amazing start into the year for me and I'm thankful for everyone that tuned in back then. And then we had the date night, we had 9 year anniversary, next year is the 10 year anniversary, 2024 is 10 years of me doing content. Then a nice horror stream with Slender the 8 pages, uh, playing Sinking Iron the game of Lixian that I just enjoyed the crowd out of, some summons got loose, big run, I needed that, and then I had not enough time to sit down again. And then I streamed Dark Wood. I made up for the lost time. For me, missing technically, I uh, think, three months. I made up with it in October with Dark Wood. And I managed to make my 12 streams that I wanted to do this year. I wanted to do them every month though. And I'm gonna try to do this next year again. I cannot guarantee it'll work, but I'll try my best because I just wanna sit down and stream and have some fun and interact with you directly. But yeah, that was the year in terms of the channel. Again, a lot of stuff, a lot of fun memories and I'm so happy that you were there for those or that you just got to watch the video and I'm so happy that I got to have those. I can't wait to make 2024 just as insane, if not more insane, than we made 2023. So I hope you join me for the journey and I'll see you next time. Bye!